Europe's biggest volcano, Mount Etna, Italy, in Sicily, erupts disrupting flights. This is after the tremendous activity we had in a nearby volcano there, as you'll see on the map, map coming up, Stromboli, just north of it, north of Sicily, on its own little island. And this is it right here. As you can see Stromboli is just that little orange thing above Sicily, and Etna is on the island there, towards the east. Europe's biggest active volcano, Mount Etna, erupted early Saturday with fire, firing explosive lava flowing, the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology said. Plumes of ash caused the authorities on the island of Sicily to close the Fontana Rosa and Comiso airports in the city of Catania. La Repubblica newspaper said Ryanair flight from Rome was diverted to Palermo on Friday, while several flights were delayed from landing or taking off on Saturday. Airport authorities said flights returned to normal at 11 a.m. local time, but stressed that there may still be disruptions and delays, and according to the INGV, lava was spurting from one of the craters on the volcano's desert-like southeastern face. It was uh, traveling at around one and a half kilometers or one mile down the barren escarpment called the Valley del Bove, or the Ox Valley. The most recent Etna activity is after the eruption of December, as well as lively spattering reported in, uh, in June. And this comes on the heels of the uh, Stromboli volcano. Now, Mount Etna updates an eruption according to Volcano Discovery. Explosive activity increasing. OBS VADG DTG. The Volcanic Ash Advisory is explosive activity has increased. The current status is minor activity of eruption warning, three out of five. Um, Etna volcano eruptions near continuous activity. Some major historic eruptions include 122 BC, the large Plinian outbursts that created the small caldera of the Crater del Piano, the 1669 AD devastating flank eruption that destroyed 15 villages in part of Catania, the 1787 sub-Plinian eruption and one of the most spectacular summit eruptions on record, lava fountains reportedly up to 3,000 meters in height. We've had eruptions since 1950, 1951, 1955, 56, 56, 57, 1960, 61, 66, and again 66 in the summer, 66, 66 to 71, 1968, 71, 72 to 73, 74, and basically every single year. Since then, let's start from 1990, 1993, 1995, 1996, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004 to 5, 2006, 7, 2008, 9, 2010, 2011 to 13, 2018 to 14, 2018, and 2019. So you can see, typical eruptive style, effusive lava flows, and mildly explosive Strombolian eruptions. Both summit and frequent flank eruptions, the latter seem to be occurring in clusters lasting a few to a few tens of years. Latest earthquakes nearby. Nearby earthquakes. Complex stratovolcano currently about 3,329 meters, changing due to eruptive activity and collapse of its crater rims. And the past seven days, we've had 33 earthquakes. Today, 2.2 magnitude, 10 kilometers depth. On the night, uh, yesterday on the 21st, we had 1.3, 1.2, 9, 8. Uh, on the 20th, we had 1.8. I think that was the biggest one. 
On the 19th, we had one of, minus, of uh, 0 0.8 magnitude. And 2.2, uh, 2.2 was were the bigger ones in July 18, and uh, it's ongoing. Ongoing. Uh, we have the volcanoes of Italy, Etna volcano ash advisor explosive. The volcanoes with ho the uh, high uh, hottest eruption and major activity volcanoes, Vesuvius, which is near Naples, Stromboli, as we said, uh, Etna, Lipari. Uh, I wonder if the earthquake that we had in Greece had anything to do with the explosion of the Etna volcano on the 19th. I don't know. It could be. We're not that far. And let's go back to see concerning other details, more on the ash advisory, it's still there, still there. Did geologic history? Volcanic activity took place first at Mount Etna 500,000 years ago with eruptions occurring beneath the sea off the ancient coastline of Sicily. About 300,000 years ago, volcanism began occurring to the southwest of the summit. Then activity moved towards the present center 170,000 years ago. Eruptions at this time built up the first major volcanic edifice, forming a stratovolcano in alternating explosive and effusive eruptions. The growth of the mountain was occasionally interrupted by major eruptions leading to the collapse of the summit to form calderas. From about 35,000 years ago to 15,000 years ago, Etna experienced some highly explosive eruptions generating lar large pyroclastic flows which left extensive ingdimbrite deposits. Ash from these eruptions has been found as far away as Rome's border, 800 kilometers or about 500 miles to the north. Thousands of years ago, the eastern flank of the mountain experienced a catastrophic collapse, generating an enormous landslide in an event similar to that seen in the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. The landslide left a large depression on the side of the volcano known as Valle del Bove or Valley of the Ox. Researchers uh, research published in 2006 suggests this occurred around 8,000 years ago and caused a huge tsunami which left its mark in several places in the eastern Mediterranean. It may have been the reason the settlement of Al Atlit Yam in Israel, now below sea level, was suddenly abandoned around that time. The steep walls of the valley have suffered subsequent collapses on numerous occasions. The strata exposed in the valley walls provide an important and easily accessible record of Etna's eruptive history. The most recent collapse event at the summit of Etna sought to have occurred about 2,000 years ago, forming what is known as the Piano Caldera. This caldera has been almost entirely filled up by subsequent lava eruptions, but is still visible as a distinct break in the slope of the mountain near the base of the present-day summit cone. Mount Etna is moving towards the Mediterranean Sea at an average of a whopping 14 millimeters per year. The massive sliding on an unconsolidated layer above the older sloping terrain. The eruptions of Etna follow a variety of patterns. Most occur at the summit where there are currently, as of 2019, five distinct craters. The Northeast Crater, the Voragin, the Boca Nova, and the southeast crater complex. Other eruptions occur on the flanks, which have more than 300 vents ranging in size from small holes in the ground to large craters hundreds of meters across. Summit eruptions can be highly explosive and spectacular, but rarely threaten the inhabited areas around the volcano. In contrast, flank eruptions can occur down to a few hundred meters altitude close 
or to or even well within the inhabited areas. Numerous villages and small towns lie around or on cones of past flank eruptions. Since the year 1600 AD, at least 60 flank eruptions and countless summit eruptions have occurred. Nearly half of these have happened since the start of the 20th century. Since the year 2000, Etna has had four flank eruptions in 2001, 2002 to 2003, 2004 to 5, 2008 to 9. Summit eruptions occurred in 2006, 2007 to 2008, January until April of 2012, in July to October 2012, and again December 2018. The first known record of eruption at Etna is that of Diodorus Siculus. In 396 BC, an eruption of Etna reportedly thwarted the Carthaginians in their attempt to advance on Syracuse during the Second Sicilian War. A particularly violent explosive, a Plinian explosive summit eruption occurred 122 BC and caused heavy tephra falls to the southeast, including the town of Catania, where many roofs collapsed. To help with reconstruction after the devastating effects of the eruption, the Roman government exempted the population of Catania from paying taxes for 10 years. The Roman poet Virgil gave what was probably the first hand description of an eruption at the Aeneid. During the first 1,500 years AD, many eruptions went unrecorded. Among more significant are an eruption in about 1,030 AD near Monte Lys, Elis, on the lower southeast flank, which produced a lava flow that traveled 10 kilometers, reaching the sea north of Aquireal. The villages of Santa Tecla and Stazo, built on the broad delta built by this lava, flow into the sea. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.